It's once again Saturday and Property Matters is back to keep that unsaid promise. So if you are ready to go house hunting, then we'll take you down the OMR to a prime location and it's exactly where the ECR connects with the OMR. Vaikun's Goardhan is a residential unit developed by the Vaikund Estate Group. This upcoming property is located on the OMR at Sholing Nellur. And this also happens to be the first largest commercial development venture undertaken by this group. The property is spread over 2.5 acres and will house 160 residential units. The property is being developed in various stages. Block 4 is ready for occupancy and Block 3 and 2 will be completed in a few months. Construction of Block 1 is yet to begin. The apartments are all built in the Stilt Plus 4 specification model. Ample car parking is provided to every resident and a restroom for the drivers with a wash area is also part of the plan. Lift facility is available within each block. At Vaikun's Govardhan, there are four types of residential units. While Block 4 and Block 1 are all 3 BHKs, Block 2 and Block 3 will have a mix of 1, 2 and 3 BHK. Apart from this, every block will have 4 penthouses. While Block 4 and 1 will have 8 apartments per floor, Block 3 and 2 will have 11 units per floor. All the materials are made here. Like concrete, we have our own mixture as well as pump and then blocks are made in house, paving blocks are made in house. Uh, idea is simply that although we don't use the machinery throughout and it is lying idle for 80% of the time, even then we are assured of the quality that we want the ultimate customers to get. In the same way, the type of material that we have used, bought out items like tiles or uh, switches or uh, uh, water taps and things like that, we have a seven year warranty from the uh, manufacturer themselves so that they guarantee you for seven years for any replace any uh, problem with regard to the manufacturing defect that may arise in the future that way we see to it that the customers get the maximum what differentiates this project from the others is the importance given to natural lighting even within an apartment complex they have kept many open to sky areas Above the car park, this has been sealed with a metal cage to avoid any sort of damage to the parked vehicles. In each floor, they have managed to maintain a 13 and a half feet distance between two houses and therefore one does not feel crammed or suffocated. We chance to visit a 3 BHK model flat and notice that they have provided for a separate sitting and dining space. The kitchen has loft facilities and a separate work area. The bedrooms have attached bath and each room is well ventilated through cross ventilation and open to sky windows. Every flat has been designed according to Vastu. The house is divided as per the Vastu as four different areas. One is Vastu, Vayu Mula, Agni Mula, Ubera Mula and uh, the Isanya Mula where God should be there and it should, if you take Isanya Mula, toilet should not be there in Isanya Mula. Agni Mula, that's the best place for the kitchen. And then if you take the bedroom, the best place will be the south uh, uh, west. That is the place where you have the master bedroom. We have seen to it not only that the places where the, the different bedrooms, kitchens and toilets should not be there, but also places where it should be there. Therefore, it is not only uh, uh, what we say as uh, it is not against the Vasu, but also it is as per Vasu. Security is given high priority. Every house has a locker facility in the master bedroom and they also have powder coated grills in place on both the windows and the main doors. Marbonite marbles have been used both in the common areas and inside the house. The only drawback is the arch-shaped balconies, which seem to eat into the veranda space. The
The penthouse on the fourth floor is built along the same lines as the other units, but they have a private terrace which can be used as a place to house parties. And because weatherproofing is done on the terrace, it can easily be converted into a terrace lawn. Apart from this, they also have a common party area on the terrace for other residents. And here again, common toilet facility is provided. Residents at Vaikund Skovardhan can also enjoy the benefits of an Airtel DTH connection and Wi-Fi facilities. Upon completion, Block 3 will have an indoor play area, a TT room, gym and a yoga centre. Around the site, they are planning to have a skating rink and a shuttle court will also be provided. Vastu Shastra has played an important role in the basic plan of the structure. If you take this site, the length and width, the ratio should be in the ratio of 1 is to 1.5 is the best uh, maximum possible. Here, as you know, on the OMR, uh, it is about 160 and odd feet, whereas uh, the depth will be about 1000 feet. So to correct this, what we have done is, we have put copper plates underneath uh, after every block so that the vibration doesn't pass. That 100 to 150 range is maintained between the individual uh, blocks and that vasto correction has also been done. Though Vaikuns Govardhan is still under construction, about 78% of this property has already been sold out. The price is fixed at Rs 3,500 per square feet and one has an option of size here. While a 1 BHK begins at 650 square feet, a 3 BHK of 1,680 square feet is the largest apartment unit available. The penthouses have all been sold out. For further details, do contact www.vaikundestates.com. Apart from the easy accessibility factor, this property is going to be low on maintenance because they have none of those extra fittings. No swimming pool, no separate clubhouse and also with neighbours like Cognizant and Wipro, renting out this space is going to be child's play. Now if you'll excuse me, I will take a short break here but when we come back, we'll go house visiting.